morning po. Welcome to Mommy Loves Garden. It's been quite some time since my last video upload. Anyway, today we're going to talk about my roses. It's po, syempre, sa ating pag-aalaga ng mga rosas, hindi naman po lahat yan smooth sailing. Of course, we will going to encounter some of those diseases, especially dun sa nagkikrinkle yung dahon niya. So, ngayon po, I'm gonna tell you the reason why sometimes we notice or we encounter crinkling of our roses leaves. Lalo na po dun sa mga new shoots. O kahit dun sa malalaking dahon, napapansin nyo, meron siyang parang mga itim-itim. Yung some part of the leaves, para siyang nagpo-fall kadats ng, para siyang nagkakaroon ng discoloration, yung dahon niya. And then, may mapapansin kayo na para siyang dumi. It looks like, uh, what's that? Pa, uh, para siyang uod, pero hindi po siya uod na itim. Para siyang itim na, but actually, it's, it's like a waste of that kind of insect that causes the disease of our roses. So, ibig po sabihin, may disease yung rose natin nang dahil dun sa insect na yon. At ang insect na yon, you call it thrips. Ito po ang thrips at napakadaming uri nila. Kinukulot nila ang mga dahon, sinisipsip ang katas nito, at ang iba naman ay kumakain pa ng dahon. Ito ang nagiging sanhi ng panunuyo at pagkulot ng dahon ng ating mga halaman. Okay, so that insect causes the crinkling of the leaves of our roses. So what we have to do, that means po kailangan nating mag-spray ng insecticide or pesticide. So ayun po, ibig lang po sabihin, different cases, different approach. So ayan, so dun sa ganitong case na nag crinkle yung dahon ng roses nyo, siguro kailangan natin ng different type of insecticide or pesticide. So now I have here a pesticide that was given to me by my friend. Wait, I'm gonna get it. Okay. So eto po siya. This was given to me by my friend here. Uh, by the way, I'm in Malaysia. So this is a local product here. Uh, Red Star ang kanyang brand. This is, but it, it's written here. Bali, ayan kasi ano niya eh, 5 minus 15, 5-15-15 uh, plus PE. Ayan, yan po yung formulation niya as a pesticide. So, here, pwede siya sa gulay, pwede siya sa orchids. So, maganda rin po siguro siya sa rose. So, ayan. So, I'm gonna use this to beat them up. At sana po ay tumigil na sila. So, I'm gonna upload another video after this. Um, abangan nyo po, siguro mga 5 days tingnan po natin kung anong mangyayari in 5 days, kung magiging okay na sila, and later on I'm gonna show you how it looks like this kind of disease I would like to show you also what happened to those leaves and I got a lot of bulbs new bulbs, new shoots a lot of them, it's just that I'm having this problem right now sayang po kasi ng mga ano, bagong shoots na nagsi tubuan, napakadami, ang ganda-ganda niya. Plus, if you will remember previously, I really showed you how to take care or how to make our roses uh, grow, how to make our roses bloom, flowers, and not to stop them from, from flowering. Talagang hindi po siya tumitigil. Talagang ngayon, nakita niyo po may bulaklak pa din siya hanggang ngayon. Although, sabay-sabay kasi po ako, mag, pag nag-pruning ako, sabay-sabay. So, sabay-sabay din halos yung pagtutubuan nila. So, but uh, the smaller roses around it, it never stop blooming. Yung sa gitna lang po, yung malalaking rosas. Ayan, kasi talagang sabay-sabay ko silang prinun. And now, a lot of bulbs. A lot of flowers to bloom. Maybe in a week, maglalaki na yung bulbs niya. And then, mag-start na siyang mag-bloom. Patakita ko po yan sa inyo. Kita nyo po, ayan po mga bagong bulaklak na po yan. So, nauunang magbulaklak yung mga smaller roses ko than the bigger ones at the center. But if you would notice, a lot of shoots. Ayan po, ang dami po niyang shoots. And ang dami niya rin pong new bulbs to come, ayan, to bloom. Ayan, these, these, these are new bulbs if you see. They are new bulbs. These are the yellow ones, the big one. Ayan, so this is... One example, ayan po, oh, nag-crinkled yung leaves niya. Ayan. So, this is an example of what I'm telling you. Ayan po, nag-crinkled yung leaves niya. You can see that clearly. Ayan. But uh, the other shoots are okay, are fine, like this one. 
but still down here the leaves are like also infected especially this ones ayan po ayan parang iba na yung kulay niya ayan para na siyang polka dots and uh parang hindi ko na maintindihan yung kulay nito so ayan crinkled na siya infected na po siya infected na siya ng thrips so i really have to spray so hindi pa po nagsasubscribe just click subscribe or type mommy loves gardening and subscribe to my channel so ayan nakikita niyo po ang daming shoots bagong shoots and all these shoots is going to bloom flowers magbe-bear po yan ng flowers ay yung mga new shoots na yan napakadami po so since i've put fertilizer i put black soil ayan nakikita niyo po yung mga bulbs so ayan yung mga naunang bloom ayan po with a lot of bulbs mag-open pa po yan so this one new one they're so tiny so small uh, this is my yellow rose it's a big one yeah so they are still babies so medyo late po talaga mag siguro mga late ng isang linggo or more than a week my big roses to bloom ayan so yan nakikita nyo po sila so ito po yung cost ng thrips ayan crinkled leaves crinkled leaves so medyo nagpapanik po ako ngayon <laughs> but anyway I'm happy that my roses are are growing well. It's just that, of course, we all of us encounter the same problem with taking care of our plants, especially with our roses. For those of you who are growing roses, so ayan po. I just want to share to you the causes of this kind of disease, thrips. Ayan insect po. So we that means we have to spray. Kung sinasabi ko po black thing na nakikita ko sa kanya na para siyang Para siyang uod, pero hindi po siya uod. It's not a worm. It looks like a small, tiny, what do you call it? A worm, but it's not. It's, it's like a dirt. It definitely, this is not the insect, but I think this is their waste. So, ayan, nasa dahon siya. So, I think this is the cause of that kind of insect. Ayan, very bad really very bad ayun sayang ng ano ko ng mga bagong shoots ko ang ganda pa naman and you see you see this one this is really a lot of them see see those bulbs ayan po they are new bulbs this one one two three or ang dami niya pong bulbs these are my big but this insect is pestering them okay so sana po I'm going to give you an update what will happen in uh, in five days. I'm going to spray every after one day. And I'm going to show you an update what will happen after that. This one looks better. Ayan po ang new bulbs niya. Wait, not clear. Ayan, ayan po ang new bulb niya. This one looks better. Ito ano siya. It's a big rose then, pero it's like a tiger. Yung hitsura niya parang tiger. White and red. Yeah, so she looks better. So the insect concentrates there. The other side here is still okay. Ayan po. Ayan yung mga, mga bagong bloom lang siya. Mm -hmm. So ayan, mag-spray na po ako. So, sana po mag-alisa na sila. 
by the way for those of you who haven't subscribed yet please do not forget to click subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll get notified on my next video upload maraming maraming salamat po to my subscribers and for those of you who haven't subscribed yet please do not forget to click subscribe like my video put your comments down below and you may also visit my facebook page i attached the link in my description below this video Ayan. so just click it and visit my facebook page mommy loves gardening but I miss that.